You join us today on my winter syndicate, Chilston Stour, down in Canterbury. It's about a 14 acre lake, pretty weedy. As it's coming into winter now, we're into November, most of the weeds actually drop, so it's not on the surface, so you can't see any of it. It's all laying down on the bottom. The trick of it is, is to find the clear spots in amongst this, these dying weed beds. So what I like to do is turn up, walk around, obviously look for fish, that's always key and obviously the most important thing, and then get the leading rod out. You've got to make sure you're fishing in clear spots. So I cast beyond the spot and then just drag it back using braided mainline to transmit. And just keep working it back, bouncing it through the weed until you get that lovely smooth glide or a little bit of gravel. And then I put it in the line clip under the reel, put it in the clip, reel it in, have another cast, feel the drop down, bang, yep, check, lovely. Then reel it in, then put it around your wrapping sticks, put, wrap it up, count the number of wraps, I then get the fishing rods and what I like to do is wrap them up, get your rigs and everything all done. So now you know that when you take it out on your little boat, take it out, get to your spot, line it up with your horizon marker towards that tree or that tower or whatever it might be on the far bank, hit the clip, lift the rod back to the normal position that you would be when you was casting. Otherwise, if you go like that, with, you know, straight with it, you're going to allow a little bit more line, which will take it away from the clear spot. So hold the rod in a similar position that you would when you was leading around. Open the release on your boat, feel the lead down, bump on the spot. Nice little patch of bait. Not too much this time of year. A little bit of foam on your hook length, so as it drops, you know that holds up, melts off, and then you just sit your rig down absolutely perfect. You can't get better, really, than dropping rigs like that by a little boat. It's absolutely perfect. When I first came on in October, it was still quite mild. It was given days of 17 degrees. So they were really up for more food. So I was going straight in with a full 17 litre bucket full, which I was actually spomming to the clip and putting a bigger area around. I was actually fishing two or three rods on a spot, uh, putting a load of bait out and then using the boat to just place rigs accurately over the spreaded area of bait. It's only crumb, a few whole boys, not many, bit of corn and a bit of pellet. Just sail like normal, lots of liquids in it. I think that's the other advantage this time of year with a boat is you can actually drop liquids. So what I've done today is I'm using the same crushed cell, a few pellets, cell active pellets, the match ones, and I've took it out in the boat and I've actually added some of the hybrid stick lick, which is all over it. So you can actually take it out and you know as you drop, that's all falling through the water column, load of attraction right on top of your rig. So fishing this way with the bait boats, the rig I like to use, it's just a uh, basic rotator rig, but I like to cut the uh, big swivel off. I like it with just a small ring. I, I tie a nice little double overhand um, figure of eight loop knot on the end, and I think that gives the hook enough movement without the ring. I use two mainline quads, and they start off as a pop-up, but by the morning, once they've took a little bit of water on, they're actually more like a wafter, really critically balanced. And I think that extra ring just aids the hook in a potential of it a little bit rather than more movement. I like the fact that you take away that ring and it just gives it a little bit less movement, which I think aids the hooking properties of the rig. Length for the rig, because it's being dropped for, by the uh, boat on dead clear ground, I'm only using short, probably five to six inches. So now the weed's not really thick and it's low lying. I'm using size six medium curves. If it was summertime and weedy, I'd up the hook size to a four. I'm using the 20 pound fluorocarbon spectra booms for it, which kick away perfectly. Never ever tangle, it's bomb proof stuff. I really like that stuff. And just a basic, like I say, just a basic rotator rig that everybody uses nowadays, but they do catch carp, you can't knock them. The hooking potentials is great. I've had 17 takes and only lost one fish out of 17. So yeah, not bad. The hook to land ratio on them. They've been nailed, the ones I have been catching. You're always going to get the odd one that drops off. Law of averages, that happens occasionally. It's part of angling. Just got to get on with it and keep your hook sharp and keep going.